Hello, Edgar. How are you doing, sir? Hey guys, how are you? How was your day today? Edgar, welcome, Elvira, nice to see you. Ever, Nidia, Raul Vasquez. Thank nice you to for see you. Earlier. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Um good evening. Um, how was how was work today? Was it hard? Was it good? Was it bad? It wasn't hard. It was good. It was good. What about it? It was good. It was good. It was pretty good, nice. actually. Okay. Yes. yes, sir. All right. So, anyways, guys, uh, how's the platform, by the way? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, did you ask uh, how was the platform? Yes, yes, I asked about the platform, yes. Oh. Well, I already finished the midterm exam in the section one, two, and three. All right. Okay, so, okay, one, two, and three, good very good. Good job. Good job, yes. That's great, guys. Thank you very much for finishing it. All right. All right. Very good, guys. So, so anyhow, um, it's good to see you guys. Really, really good to see you. I'm going to go ahead, guys, and uh, I'm going to get started. Um, so let's take a look, guys, at the next topic. So yesterday, we were talking about simple past, right? And we were talking about two things specifically. So two topics specifically, right? What are they? And guys, let's turn on the cameras, right? So what are the... What are the... the um, the two things, guys, that we were talking about yesterday, about combining simple past and simple, um, that's continuous, right? Yeah, that's continuous. So what what are they? So we were talking about when and while, right? Okay, so we were talking about when and why. So, yeah, all right, very good job. and. We combine simple past and past continuous to talk about what? To talk about what, guys? Simple past. And past is continuous is combined to talk about what? When we are talking about what is happening at the moment. No. Mm -mm. no. When we combine them, when we combine ah, them. That, that is past continuous. We combine okay. past continuous and, and simple past. We okay. use it to talk about when interrupted, in interrupted actions, right? So interrupted right. actions. And when we combine past continuous and past continuous is used to talk about what? Two actions at the same time, correct? Thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, so today we are going to continue with uh, the agenda. 
and we'll talk about something very interesting, which is present perfect continuous. So guys, who's heard about present perfect or present perfect continuous before? Raise your virtual hand. I'm gonna, guys, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pick randomly. All right. Uh, right, Raul, go ahead. Thank you, Raul. Um, the structure or what? No, um, I'm asking, have you heard about present perfect or present perfect continuous? What oh, we yeah. use it for? Yeah. Yeah, in my case, <clears throat> sorry, in my case, yeah, the, I, uh, I have worked uh, with present perfect continuous. All right. So, what do we use it for? Uh, for example, uh, when we can use the, uh, we can use it. Uh, for example, when, uh, when we have been uh, doing activity for a long time, for example, and the structure is, uh, I have been eating, uh, something like that. Okay, I have been eating. Very good job. Okay. Yes, so we have, I have been eating. What else, what else, guys? That is the present perfect. That is when we have been doing something and we are still doing, and we use that third form for, of the verb. All right, okay, good job. I like it, guys, good job, okay. So yes, so one of the topics that we go through before this is present perfect, right? And present perfect is used usually, right? Most of the times. It's just to talk about experiences, correct? Now, present perfect continuous is still just to talk about the past, okay? But something that was happening continuously in the past. So what is the difference between present perfect continuous and, and past continuous then? The, the present continuous to advise the duration or continuous course of an action. Okay, guys, the difference, okay, so the difference is that, well, two actions start, the, the two actions start in the past, right? But if, if I said, oh, I was walking, I was just walking, did the action finish or did, does it continue? Finished. Okay, it finished. If I said, I have been walking for a long time, does it, the, first of all, did it start in the past? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. And it continues in the present, right? So that is a big difference. So in today's agenda, guys, you will learn, you will understand, and you will practice the present perfect continuous form, form okay? So we're going to go over the grammar of present perfect continuous, and we're going to get some practice at the end, okay? So guys, I want you guys to write this down in your notebook. Do not take a screenshot, guys, because nobody ever watches the screenshot, okay? If you take screenshots in the classes, guys, don't tell me that you ever watch them, okay? Nobody watches, you know, the the, the, the screenshots, right? So the structure, guys, okay? First off, we have, what is the first thing that we have? We have, we have subject. subject. We have the subject, right? And then the subject is followed by? The yeah. auxiliary. Auxiliary. The auxiliary have. have okay? It's very important, guys, that you remember that this is an auxiliary, okay? All right, and then we have the auxiliary. Past. Be past, past, past participle. Past, past, past participle, not, not the past. All right, and then we have. Singing. Singing, which is a present participle. Is this a gerund, guys? Is this a gerund? Yes, it is. It is? Do you all agree, guys? Is that a gerund? Yes. No, it's not a gerund. Oh my god. Now, if and 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 guys, it's very important that you learn mm -hmm. the difference between a gerund and a present participle. So let me ask you something. A quick example, guys. Just a quick example. Singing. And then singing. So which one is the gerund and which one is the present participle? Mm 
Mm, they both are the same. And what are they, gerunds or present participles? We can use both in one in gerund and one in present okay. participle. Mm -hmm. Yes. It depends on the time or, or the sentence. Yes. Okay, guys, I want to tell you something, okay? It depends. If I say, I like singing. Mm -hmm. Is this a present participle or is this a gerund? It is a gerund. Why? Why is it a, why is it a gerund? Because it's, it's due in a, at the moment. No, guys, guys, guys all right, so, all right, real, real quick, this is not the topic, guys, but I needed to understand this. A gerund, take, take note, guys, okay? A gerund is a noun, okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. So, a noun, guys, right? A noun can be the subject or the <clears throat> object of the sentence, okay? Okay. Of, 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 the, of the verb, guys, you know, well, the same the sentence okay anyways right so be careful because you have to remember this all right and uh present participle okay is a verb it's a it's a continuous action okay got it so a gerund guys is not a continuous action for example, I like singing. Let me ask you something. Is this person, okay, so if I say I like singing, pretend that this is, you know, there is a, there is a, your peer is nada, right? This is your peer is nada. And he's reading some, these are supposed to be glasses, right? So he's reading something, right? And he starts thinking about, hey, you know what? I freaking like singing. So he's, I don't know, he's here. Maybe, you know, he's, he was studying, right? So this is a pen, sorry. So this is a pen, maybe he was reading something, blah, 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 blah right, right? And then he scratched his head and thought, you know, you know what? I like singing, right? And he's, this is a table, whatever, right? Okay, so he said, I like singing, right? Is he singing, guys, at the moment? Is he singing there, yes or no? No. Everybody, right? Um, you know what, guys? I'm going to ask the last person to turn on the camera because you should have your cameras turned on. All right. So last person to turn on the camera, guys, you got five seconds. If not, I'm going to ask you five, four, three, two, one. All right. So still have people with cameras turned off. I'm going to ask one of you. And that person is going to be Angel Alejandro. No, Samuel. Samuel. There you go, there you go, there you go, guys. Finally, I get to see your faces. All right, so Samuel, are you there, Samuel? All right, let's ask, okay, another person with a camera turned off then. Let's ask, let's ask uh, Leana Maria. Leana. Oh my God, right? Irma Raquel. No, Irma, okay. I'm going to ask then Alejandra. All right. <laughs> All right, Alejandra. So tell me. So in this case, right, why is this not a present participle? Why? I don't know. Okay. So what did I say, guys? Thank you very much, Ale. So why is it not a present participle, guys? Because... Because the verb is not in participle form. No, guys. All right, listen, pay attention, okay? That's why I want you to turn on the cameras, because I know, right, nos gusta estar en el baño, right? Haciendo cualquier cosa en el teléfono, right? Y decir que estás escuchando la clase. Guys. All right, be in the class, right? It's solo una hora, una hora de tu vida, right? So, if I say, guys, I like singing, si yo digo, I like singing, right? Estoy cantando, yes or no? No. No, I'm not singing, right? No. Right? So, guys, 
this right here is the subject and this right here is working as the object of the sentence, okay? Because it, it's working as a noun, porque funciona como un sustantivo, all right? No una acción continua. Si yo digo, I am singing, right? Now this right here, check, the, check it out. So I'm gonna say I am singing now, right? So you got the dude over here, you know, he's at a karaoke, he's got a microphone, right? And he's singing with his, with his eyes, but whatever, right? So, you know, he's like, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, right? I'm inventing there, guys, I don't know. Anyway, so he's singing, right? No, hold on. So this person right here, is this person, guys? Is this a is this a gerund or is this a present participle? It's a gerund. That is a gerund. It's a present participle, guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a present participle. Jesus Christ! <laughs> because of so, continuous so, action. Exactly, guys. Es una continuación, ¿eh? Sí, es una acción. Si está haciendo la acción continua, es un present participle. Oh, si, está, si no está haciendo la acción continua, si lo está haciendo como me gusta mm -hmm. cantar, me gusta chayán, ¿sí? Si sustituye a chayán, pretendan que eso dice chayán, ¿right? Si sustituye a chayán, es un gerund, ¿right? It's working as a, mm -hmm. as, as a noun. ¿Got it? All right. Another example, guys. Mm -hmm. Singing mm -hmm. is something... I like. Where is the subject of the sentence here? Singing is something I like. Where is the subject? Singing. Singing. Yes, Very singing. good. There you go. So this is a subject. So is this a gerund or is this a, a present participle? Gerund. It's a gerund. gerund. Very good. Good job, guys. <laughs> Good job, okay? You won zero dollars, right? Les acaban de ganar cero dólares. Right? I wish I wish I could give you something, but, but uh, you know. Teacher, and the me. difference and between Jerun and the other is only, for example, I am. I am singing. No. no. The difference is this. All right? A Jerun works as the subject or the object of the sentence. A present participle is a continuous action. Okay. For example, if I say singing is something I like, right? Cantar es algo que me gusta. Cantar es algo que me gusta. ¿Estoy cantando? Yes or no? Eh, no. No, 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 right? Entonces, si yo no estoy haciendo la acción continuamente, no es un present participle, es un gerund. Y también lo puedes identificar porque está trabajando como el sujeto de la oración. Está trabajando como un noun, okay? Como un sustantivo. Got it? Got it. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, so, anyways, why am I saying all that? Why, why, why was I talking about um, gerunds and 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 uh, and and, and um, present participles? Because, guys, according to the structure that we got here from uh, past participles, singing is not a a, a gerund. It is a present participle. So, for example. We have some verbs, and this is the reason why it's important. We're going to get a little bit deeper into this. Can I raise this, guys? Can I raise my Picasso drawing, my magic, you know, picture here? Can I raise it? I'll take your silence as a yes, okay? So, for example, guys, if I say, guys, I have been loving. Can I say this? I have been loving. No, because this right here, it's a stative, stay, sorry, stative verb, okay? All right, stative verbs cannot be, cannot be used, guys, okay? Cannot, cannot be used with, well, in present participles. Well, as present participles, actually, as present participles. Only as gerunds, okay? Pueden ser gerundios, pero nunca present participles. Got it? So you can say, 
right? You can see loving, right? Loving is a good feeling. Is this a gerund or is this a present participle? Gerund. A gerund, right? Because it's working as a subject. Gerund, exactly. Right? And the and the other you need uh for example grammatical person. For example, I am they are for present continuous. No, you, you cannot you cannot say loving in present. This is incorrect. You cannot say I have been loving. You can say I have loved you or I I loved you, right? In the past form or past participle form, but never in present participle, okay? We're gonna we're gonna learn more about that soon, but just know, guys, that the structure is this: we have been singing, right? Subject auxiliary have. Now, it's a, there's something very important here, guys. That is not shown in the structure. What if the what if the 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 subject was what if the subject were he instead of we? What would be the auxiliary here? Has has exactly guys very good job thank you all right so instead of instead of using we guys okay let's use he right he and then instead of have we'll have has right he has okay so this affects guys this only affects and keep that in mind okay this only affects the 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 auxiliary okay because bin will bin change guys will this ever change yes or no if it is in third person no yeah no the answer is no okay so we're always going to use ben okay ben all right and then you know we need to use a present participle right so he has been, give me another one. He has been, instead of sinking, what can we use? He has been? Cooking. Walking. Cooking. He has been cooking, very good. He has been? Dancing. Drawing. Dancing, very good. He has been? Drawing. Can I say, he has, can I say he has been knowing? Can I say that? He has been knowing. No. no, because it's a state of, exactly, Edgar, good job, Edgar. It's a state of verb, all right? And it's also a transitive verb, all right? Anyways, has been, uh, can I say he has been, what else? Writing. Writing, right? So writing, somebody said drawing. Running. Running, right? Very good. Cleaning. So, Cleaning, okay, guys. So I want you to do something. Every single verb that you mention, well, I want you to represent it with your hands, okay? Because I want you to notice something. A present participle will most of the times be uh, able to be represented with your hands. Like, for example, cleaning. How do you represent cleaning with your hands? Cleaning, right? Cleaning, I'm cleaning, right? How do you represent running with your hands? Everybody. Follow my instructions. How do you represent running, right? Or you can do this, right? How do you say singing, right? You have a mic, well, that, okay, that, that looks weird. How do you say, how do you represent eating, right? Very good, right? Exactly. So, but how do you represent knowing? How do you represent knowing? You can't with your hands, right? You cannot. So there, that's a way on, you know, that's a tip on how you can identify that a verb is stative or not, okay? Eso es una manera como puedes identificar que un verbo es stative or not, okay? All right, beautiful job, guys. All right, any questions about the structure? We're good? All right, good. so, okay, so. Uh, teacher, person, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, you can use this uh, structure in negative. Yes, you can use it in negative form. Yes, we're going to see examples about that. Yes. But yeah, you can use it in negative form. Yes. Uh, so guys, what do we use the present perfect continuous for? Okay. 
uh, we use the guys for a past action that just stopped. For example, I'm tired because I've been running, right? Why are you tired? Because I have been running. Are you still running? Is this person still running? No. No. No, it's not, right? This person is not running, right? Because he recently stopped, right? So we can use the guys for recent actions that just stopped, okay? For past actions that stopped recently, okay? So we can use it again, guys, for past actions that stopped recently. All right. All right. So, uh, so in this case, guys, which is the recent action? I'm tired because I've been running. Which is the recent action? Running. Being running. Okay, running is the recent action, right? Mm -hmm. And which is the result? Tired. We're tired. Okay, right. Being tired. Entitled. Tired, not tired, guys. Tired. Tired. Being tired is the recent result. Okay, and running is the the the, the reason why, right? There you go. Okay, so all right, so we can use it for this. All right, so. I want everybody guys to give me, in your notebook guys, you're gonna write down five examples, right? Listen to this, you're gonna write down five examples of um, things that just, that you just, or somebody just stopped doing, okay? So you can say, oh, uh, he is happy because, uh he's been playing video games All right so give me five examples like this guys okay quiero cinco ejemplos como estos como estos okay in your notebook in su cuaderno let's go guys let's go let's go let's go and then we're going to share them with the class guys let's go
All right. So uh, what do we got, guys? All right. I'm going to give you a little bit more time, OK? <clears throat> OK, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Go ahead. Uh, I'm not sure if my question are, are, are good. Uh, here's the first. I'm not sure if my wife has been at home. Okay, so you said, I'm not, right? I'm not sure if my wife has, has been, been at, at home. home. Okay, first of all, uh, let's go back to the structure that we have here. Right, we take a look at the example that we got here, right? What I asked you to do was to give me, you know, examples using, you know, the structure that we have here. So the uh, structure okay. that we have here says, you know, I have been running, right? This is present per present perfect progressive. The one that you gave okay. me is past is, is is present perfect, okay? So that would be incorrect for now. I need Basically, I need a recent action and a result using. Okay, DJ. Uh, here, here uh, I'm going to tell you the next. Uh, I'm happy because I've ridden a bicycle. Very good. So that one is correct. Okay. So I'm DJ happy. Have one. Because I've been. Hold on, give me one second. A bicycle, right? Good job. So this one is correct. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, Fernando, go ahead. Uh, they are happy because they are being eating. Because they are being? No, Ben. No, it's Ben. Ben. They are being? Ben? Eating. Eating, like this. No. Eating. 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 eating? All right, so, okay, almost almost there. Analyze that and tell me what we can change there because that's, there's something wrong there. It's good the or auxiliary is missing. Yes, we don't have the auxiliary here. They have been eating. Right? So, yeah, so we were just missing the auxiliary there. Okay, very good, guys. So, do we have another example? Who wants to share theirs? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we are happy because we have been winning the soccer game. Winning the soccer game. Okay, we are happy because. We have been winning the soccer game. Yes, that is correct. Thank you very much. Another one? Me, teacher. Go ahead. My son is happy because he has been learning to play the guitar. Been learning, right? Learning to play the guitar. The guitar. The guitar. Very good. Good job. That is correct. Uh, yes, Yancy? I participate, teacher. Oh, okay. You gave me okay. Hello, I got it. Got it. Hello, yeah, teacher. teacher. Yes, go, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm tired because I have been cleaning the house. Because I have been cleaning the, the house. house. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. What else? What else? Uh he he said because his team have been losing in this week. Is he correct? said because what? Because his team have been losing in this week. His team has been losing in this week. This week. Okay, yeah. That is correct. Yes. What else? Thank you. He I mean, my sister is strong because she's she has been doing exercise. 
Very good. Doing exercise. Very good. Good job. What else? Me, teacher. Go ahead. I am studying English. Uh, he's nervous because he has been well. learning drive. Okay. So he's nervous because he has been learning how to drive. Okay. All right. What else, guys? What else? What else? What else? What else? Good job, guys. These are excellent exercises. Excellent uh, examples. What else? Uh, I'm happy because I have been learning English for three months. Okay, so I'm... I'm happy because I've been learning English for three months. Okay, very good. I think you got the idea, guys. Guys, if your examples are very close to what we got here, right? They are very good, guys. Okay, these are good examples. Thank you very much. You got the idea behind them, okay? All right, now, something very simple that I, I will explain to you guys that uh, before we move on, is that if you want to do this negative, you simply have to add the particle not here. So we can say not. So we have not been singing, for example, right? And that's it. Just add it, guys, after the auxiliary, okay? After the auxiliary, you will have the particle not, okay? Sounds good? Have not. All right, so we also, guys, use the present perfect continuous for a past action that continues now. For example, an action that started in the past and an action and, and is and still continues today or right now, right? I have been reading for two hours. So here, all right, as you can see, is the pat the, the present perfect continuous form. So guys, am I still reading? Yes or no? Can you repeat the question, please? So, um, I it, the example says, right? I have been reading for two hours. Am I still reading, yes or no? No. No, no, are you sure? No, you're, say, you're saying that you have been reading for two hours, but you're not reading right now. I want you. I want you to read what it says here, guys. And and I want you to to read what it says here, and then answer that question again. My question will be: Am I still reading? Yes or no? I think not, teacher. Okay. Well, it says uh, we use the present perfect continuous to talk I about an action that yes. started in the past. Listen, started in the past, empezó en el pasado, and continues in, in, in the present, continúa en el presente. So, si yo digo, he estado leyendo por dos horas, sí, guys, sí estoy leyendo todavía. Empecé en el pasado y continúa en el presente. Got it? So, that's Got the it. reason why, okay? So, if I say, guys, Oh my God, you know what? I have noticed, noticed that I can, I add, you know, I am adding the time reference. I have, I can say David has been teaching, David has been teaching for five years. Does David still teach guys or not? Yes, he's a yes, teacher. right? Teacher. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. So in that case, I in that case, um, hold on, guys. So in that case, let me ask you something, guys. So when did the action start? So if I said David has been teaching, you know what? Let's let's change this. Let's change this for running. Okay, we're gonna say running. You'll see why. David has been running for five years, right? So 
So here, guys, okay? We have the past, right? And we have the present, okay? So guys, five years from now, today, nowadays it's, you know, this year is 2023, right? Five years from now was what, 2018? 2018, right? And this is 2023. Okay. So here's David, right? That's gonna be me, right? So this is David, guys. And I have been running, right, all this time. Okay, so guys, Am I still running? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes. right? Yes. yes, guys. Okay, so present perfect continuous can be used to talk about an action that started in the past. All right, that started in the past and continues in the present, okay? So Thank everybody you. in your notebook, give me two examples of two things that you have been, that you, actually not, not you, your pure nada. If you don't have a pure nada, um, talk about your dad or your mom or your sister or whoever you love, guys. <laughs> Dua Lipa, Chayanne, I don't know, right? So give me, guys, two examples, right? Give me two examples of, of things someone has been doing up until the present, but things that started in the past, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys, let's go. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Yes. You have uh, your example? Yeah. Uh, can I say I have been studying for 23 years? Very good. Okay. So, yes, you can say that. That is correct. All right. So, you got the example there, right? But uh, let me see. So, yes, you can say that is perfectly correct, right? I have been studying for 22 years. You said 22 years? Yeah. And I have been learning English for two years. I have been learning English for for two years. So, okay, you can say that. Yes, I have. But I want you guys to use the third person, not you, right? So okay. say he has been learning English for for three years, right? Uh, can I say my brother has been practicing soccer for five years? Yes, you can say exactly. You can say my brother, right? My brother from another mother has been practicing English for, for how many years? Five years. <laughs> five years, right? Teacher, I have this example. Go ahead. I have been reading the Lord of Rings for two months. All right. So, yes, I have. It's a been, good example. Yes, I have been reading the, the Lord of the Rings for, for how long? For two months. For two months. Okay, good job. Yes, this is, this is correct. So, I have been reading the Lord of the Rings for two months. Yes. What else? Go ahead. <laughs> she has been working for 10 years in the museum. Yes, she's been. You can say she's, guys, okay? She's. She okay, has instead been, of she has, she right? She has been working she's, for she's 10 been, years. She's been. She's been. She's been working, working. For, for 10 years okay. in the museum. She's been working in the museum. Yes. For 10 years. Yes, you can say this. That is good. Perfect. What else, guys? What else? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. My mom has been working for 20 years 
in her business. My mom has been right has been working for for ten years. 20, for ten years. In her business. In her business. Very good. Good job. All right. Yeah. One more example, guys. One more example. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Can I say things instead of for? Uh, she, ha she oh. has been living in Chalatenango since 2020. Yeah. 2020, yes. Yes, she's been living in Chalatenango since 2020. Yes. Mm -hmm. that that she still lives there, right? Yes, yeah. yes. We, go have ahead. Been, we have been singing for all the night. We have been singing all night. For you can all say all the night. All, all night long. You cannot say for all the night now. All night long or all night. All right. Very good. Oh. Yes. This all is how you say. Yes. All night long. Very good. good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Questions here, guys? Yeah. Then here is the next teacher. I yeah, have been ahead. working for one. I have been. I have been what? I have been walking for one hour. Walking for one hour, okay. All right. Very good. Good job, guys. All right. Good, good, good job. Okay. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you together, guys. And uh, so you can practice. And uh, hold on. Okay. So I want you to ask your partner, your classmate, this question. Okay. What have you been doing lately? Repeat, guys. What have you been doing lately? What, what have, have you been, been doing, doing lately? lately? Okay. Esta es la práctica, guys. Van a preguntarle a su compañero. Hey. ¿Qué has estado haciendo recientemente? Right? Ese has okay. estado haciendo es, es present perfect progressive, okay? And you're going to answer, oh, you know what? I've been, y le dicen que, right? Got it? Have you, have... All right, take a screenshot if you want, guys, and send it to the WhatsApp group. Okay, did you take a screenshot? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's go ahead and send it to the group, guys, and let's start practicing. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go so we can practice. What have you been doing lately, Fernando? Lately, uh, lately. Lady is a, uh, a woman. Uh, a woman. <laughs> lately. I have yes. been uh, reading a book in National Geographic in English. And later, I have been uh, spending time with my pet. His name is... And another what, what have you been doing lately? Okay, uh, in my case, uh, I, I, I've been doing, well, uh, I've been working out at the gym because I like doing exercise every day, so four times, uh, or four times per week uh, at least. And I've been studying at my university. Uh, currently, I study at... Uh, at the college and I like to study as well and another 
a thing that I do every day. Um, uh, let me see. I'm doing. Uh, I I have I I. I have been playing with my dog because uh, my dog uh, it likes to go out to our uh, our neighbor our neighbor and I like to go out with with it and another thing I have been I, I I've been cleaning my house with my mom I've been uh, eating healthy and yeah oh Thank nice you, you yes. have been you have been busy all the time you have been doing a lot of things yeah uh, yeah every day i uh, i'm doing a lot of things and i don't know i like to do every i like to do a lot of things every day and what oh. about you i'm so glad you are you're having a plenty of of time Right? Yes. Because you are doing so many things during the day, yes. during Absolutely. the weekend. Yeah. And what about you? Uh, another thing that you want to do, I don't know, or, what, uh, uh, or other things that you do in your day or that you have doing uh, for lately, or for example? Yeah, uh, during the day, <laughs> I, I've been. Uh, visiting my brother uh, helping helping my wife to do and do this on my home and and so on or uh, for example um i don't know do you like to play any sport or something like that, or something yes. like that. I don't know. Yes, I I've been practicing, um, softball sport and soccer as well. Okay. Yeah, in my case, in my case too, uh, I I like sport and and lately, uh, I I I've been playing soccer with my with my friends in a tournament, and the tournament is in B sport, and. I've been going with my with my friend there to to play a uh, a little bit. How how often have you been, uh, practicing, uh, your your sport? Okay. Um, I play I play soccer every week because I like sport, especially soccer. And lately, yeah, I. Uh, been playing with my my friends in a tournament. Uh, I I play soccer uh, two times per week uh, on Sunday and Monday because uh, I'm in two tournament and well uh, lately I I've been playing with with them. Very nice. And what about you? Do you? Yeah. My wife and I have been and watching a movie. Me, me, Fernando. Eh, okay. ¿Quién, quién me dijo eso? ¿Quién es? What have you been doing late? Lately? What have you been doing lately? I, I have, I have been, I have been studying the platform, and, and I have been. I have been uh, writing the introduction of the magazine and and I have and I have been helping my son in the homework. What have been what have been you what have you been doing lately, Fernando? Yes, what have you been doing lately? There you go. In my case, uh, I have been dinner, and later I I have been watching a movie on Netflix, and 
I have been spending time with my dog. And what about you? Yancy Castillo. Yancy Astrid. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hey. Teacher. How are you doing? How are your examples? Uh, uh, are they... How do you say how do you say el oficio de barbería? No sé. What do you want to say? Like what's the whole sentence? Uh, no sé, el oficio. That's, he that estado exist. aprendiendo barbería por tanto tiempo. I've been working, I've been learning how to cut hair uh -huh. or how oh, to be yeah. a barber or I've been trying to become a barber. Oh, oh I have been learning how to become uh, a, learn, uh, a barber. No, you can say I've been trying to become a barber or oh, I've been okay. learning how to cut hair. Okay. Yeah, that, that was my idea to say. To oh, hear uh, cut, like, or something you. like okay. that. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the way you say el oficio, that doesn't exist in English, guys, okay? Forget okay. about that. I think that's not even in Spanish. That's just it's, it's like Salvadorian you, thing. You, you know? say de barbero. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, All right. Very good, then. Very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, no problem. Hello, Alejandra and Angel. How are we doing here? How's the practice going? All right, we're going to go back now, guys. I don't know if you hit the... Hello, guys and girls. Teacher, I can't hear anything. Can you hear me now, guys? Yes, I, I right, can. Very good. I All can't right, hear. guys. How do you like today's topic? It was very interesting. We have been learning <laughs> and talking <laughs> each other with our classmates. That's awesome. That's really, really, really. I like this topic because I understood the difference between gerunds and present perfect. Gerunds and present participles. And gerunds and present participle. Gerunds, yes. Okay. All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's really nice to hear that. Okay. Anyways, guys, uh, so continue doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, join early, guys. Remember to join early. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Okay, take good care. Night, teacher. Okay, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.